I don't know if this sounds bad, but like I don't want to have ugly babies. Yes, it's okay to not be loyal. Okay, so we have Wingstop and we're going to be answering some questions. Is a cheater always a cheater or can they change? I say that always a cheater. Always a cheater because like, I don't think you can really change from that. Yeah. To be honest. I agree. I say if you're a cheater, you're a cheater. Yeah, because like most of the time they wouldn't end up cheating anyway. Okay. okay. I also think once a cheater, always a cheater. What celebrity slash influencer do you not like? Um, I don't like Juanito because he's being messy with Wendy. Okay. I'm not saying. I don't like Kayla. I don't know. I don't even know what her last name is on TikTok. I don't know about it. She's really no one with the freckles. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, the oh, the I don't know. Like, I literally. Yeah. yeah. She like some stories about like her, like she sneaks out. Her stories are for sure made up. Yeah. I'm I don't like Jojo Siwa or Kendall or Kalani because they're pick me girls. I think, and they're really loud. I like Kalani. Okay, don't ask. Oh. What's your favorite influencer? Currently, my favorite one is Wendy Ortiz, Wendelin. I really like her. I like her get ready with me, her story time, her speed dating, her playing people, specifically guys. I really like that. And her mom vlogs. I really like her. I would say also Wendy, Evelyn, and both of them, not just Wendy. Okay. I prefer Wendy. Wendy, Evelyn, Benji. That's it. <laughs> I like Eleanor Neal because yeah. she talks about true crime. Oh. And the YouTube girl. Oh, yeah. Makeup? Yeah. yeah you know, I follow on Instagram. How long should a couple date until they get engaged? Mm -hmm. I think minimum, like, minimum. two. How they should date is two years before getting engaged so you can actually get to know them and not just six months where they could be fake nice to you the whole time. Yeah, I also think two years because you have to like live together for quite a bit of time to see how each other are and that happens. Uh, I say three years. Cause you have Why to get, three? I'm not two. Yeah, I'm explaining. Because you have to get like to the phase of like, you know, like, you know, being fake and everything. Like, Do you think someone could be fake for two years? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Okay. Let's okay. face it. Okay, okay. You? Let's not say it. Okay, let's not say it. <laughs> let's not say our, our view. <laughs> I would say that there's not a timeline. Like, if you're like 40 years one old. One day. If you're like 40 <laughs> years old and you want to get married in one day, get married in one day. Like, do it. I wouldn't. But I'm saying, like, say you're like dying or something, or you're like 35 and you're like, let's get married, let's get married. Yeah, like, given that. I think for me, four years. Why? Because that's like an even number. Because I think pretty few, <laughs> but it's like an uneven number. And then engaged one year or two years. One's an uneven number. Okay. <laughs> What's your biggest fake? <clears throat> Not putting the toilet seat down. Oh yeah. Maybe Weddle. In <laughs> Weddle just never put the toilet seat down. <laughs> and you remind them multiple times but they never do it. Uh but I like all that. Like people who like <laughs> Try hards? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I would say my biggest ick is when you're late to something. Like you say you're gonna be. I I am late sometimes. <laughs> Just so that you don't know from the no. dog. You're always late. No, but not that much. Not really. No, yeah, I guess. But when other people do it to me, I don't like it. Like if you say you're gonna be here at this time, be here at that time. My biggest ick. I know we're doing a mukbang right now, but my biggest ick is people chewing like really loud, like obnoxious, like loud, like on purpose. I. The biggest ick, and I don't know if this is mean or not, when people are sloppy eaters and they get messy, I feel like that's kind of cringy. And if you're grown, I shouldn't be telling you. I shouldn't be telling you to clean your face. Who does it? Who does that? <laughs> I just think like people in general. Well, you just said if you're grown, I shouldn't have to tell yeah, you to clean your face. Nobody that's very cringy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why are you looking around to my face? <laughs> is love at first sight real, in your opinion? <laughs> It's not real, because how can you judge someone just by off of one look? Um, I would agree that it's not, I, I wouldn't say like, oh, love at first sight, because how, how Dom said, like, you don't know someone. You could be like, oh, like, I'm interested, or I like someone, or whatever, but love is like, a little too much. I agree. Maybe, like, like them at first sight, but not, like, love at first sight. I agree, um, not love at first sight. Um, I think people who say they fall in love at first sight are... People that are younger and maybe their first boyfriend, so they're like, uh, okay. I agree because, like Jessica said, it can't like be love. If you're just interested, but not love. Do looks matter? Is that in the context of like what? Who wrote that? Me. Oh. Do looks matter? Like in what? In like a person that you're dating. 
Okay, do looks matter? I would say yes, obviously. If you don't like the person, if you obviously they're like ugly, or in your opinion you think they're ugly, you're not, you cannot date somebody that you think is ugly. I think that looks do matter, but I feel like also like the personality can make them uglier. That's true, that's true. I think they do matter, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> that's bad. I don't know if that's bad. Is that bad? No, that's not bad. That's bad. Like, they should matter a little bit, but not like how Jennifer said, not the whole thing where it's like, I what? Feel that. <laughs> Uh, what is the sidebar over here? Let us know what, what's going on. Let us know. What should you say? You and one will have cute babies. Okay, okay. No, it's it's like, like, it matters to the point as like as long as they, as they take care of themselves and like yeah. actually try to look presentable. Mm. That's true. You want to have kids? If so, how many? I want to have two kids maximum. That's it. What do you have triplets? Girl, I don't know. You kill one of them, hope for the best. <laughs> is two and the max and this is pushing it is four because then i'll have to get like a mom car instead of just three seats in the back two but i wouldn't want to have a kid myself i would like to adopt because that's terrifying uh, zero i want to travel the road by myself and with pq i would say minimum two if i have like I think if you're an only child, it'd be a little bit weird. So I wouldn't <laughs> want to have an only child. Like if you have one, that means you have to, you have to do two. And how Jaline said, I think pushing it is four. So two to four are on there. Should you stay loyal during the talking stage? And I say yes, because I won't be able to trust someone who can't even stay loyal, like, loyal during the talking stage. This might sound bad by saying no, because you guys aren't even dating. So like, why would you stay loyal so you're not dating? If you're not loyal during the talking stage, then you kind of lose trust, I guess. But then also, I feel like you should have an understanding with the other person where you know if you guys are like, if you only text like once a week, and but you consider that a talking stage, then yeah, they're probably talking to somebody else. So yeah. it just depends on the person you're talking to. I think that in the talking, like, you should be loyal during the talking stage, but you shouldn't be like, oh, like, like I love him forever type of thing, like posting him and everything, because that's like you're kind of it's like kind of like a preview of like a relationship, so you're gonna have to like treat it like one kind of. I think it depends how long you guys have been talking to whether you if you're talking for one day and you're taking some other person, I won't be offended because like it's only been a little bit. But if you guys been have been talking for like two weeks and like texting every single day, then yes, you should be loyal. So yes, it's okay to not be loyal. Tossing 1 through 10 rate yourself uh, for, I mean, I don't think I'm that tossing unless, like, there's a reason to be. I would say... Be honest. I'm being honest. <laughs> I would say also, like, Dom, like, a 4, but, like, I don't think I'm toxic. <laughs> I would say 0. <laughs> no, if I'm being honest, yeah, like, 4, like, like, normal amount. I think I'm like five. Like it depends. Like I feel like I'm kind of rude in a way. Like if somebody like texts me, like if, if I don't like care for you, I'm not gonna answer. I'm not gonna leave it. I'm not gonna if anything. If I actually like that's not toxic though. I feel like that's kind of. I rude, feel though. like it is kind of rude. And I'll just leave him on red too. If I if I want you to specifically know that I'm not gonna want to text you or nothing, I'm gonna leave you on red. Um, I think I'm a three because I'm such a good person and I'm not toxic. And I don't check his location every single hour. <laughs> I thought we were telling the truth. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know, maybe I'm a five. <laughs> but five out of ten is still failing, because that means I'm not toxic, so it's okay. I'm three to four. I don't think I'm a very toxic person. I try not to be. Good cheating if you go on two dates in one day. <gasps> um, I would say no. If these are like first dates, then no. Um, you have the time to do two dates, girl. Go ahead. So Peter said it is cheating. That it is. I feel like, cause to the point to go on a first date with someone, I feel like that's kind of like you committing in a way. I don't know. Cause I've never even been on one, so. But this is my idea as like an out, in in an outside perspective. Go. Okay, I think it's not cheating. Um, I think it's okay because you're not dating them. But then if you have a conversation with them and say, like, we're exclusively talking or dating or whatever, then that's different. Deal breaker in a relationship. I think that maybe, like, 
like in the long run type of like ideas, ideals like in your life? Like what if like they like I don't know, they wanna like have kids by like twenty three and you wanna have the kids until like thirty. Like that's like a big difference. Or like as many kids you want, like that's like like things like that that affect the future, like that's important for their job too. Um, I think a deal breaker is being a liar. Like, even if you lie about something small, I think that leads on to lying about bigger things. So, don't be a liar. I agree with Jasmine. Lying is a big thing for me. I respect. It's like, I am communication. If you can't communicate with someone, then it's like, I don't think there's a point in continuing something like that. Because it could grow very toxic. Because I know it's going to hurt a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> but people who make up fake scenarios and stuff and like have like their other significant other answer and like force them to answer that that's just so like like on tiktok like when they're like yeah that's like that's so bad like <laughs> you like if i was a worm would you still love me if i was a worm yeah, yeah, like like that. Like, yeah. <laughs> and they get upset over your answer like oh, that's like, a deal breaker yes <laughs> yes it is okay, i would say like that you said lying yeah. Like cheating, and I think if you're like mean, I'll be like, no. What age would you let your kids start dating? I would say in high school they have good grades, but sophomore, junior year, and high. I would say like sixteen. Fifteen. I would also say fifteen, but like I feel like if they were dating sooner, I would want them to tell me, so then I would be aware. But then let's not say who. Ooh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> we have a whole group down it. Who? Oh, who? <laughs> Favorite app on your phone? TikTok. Called. I would say TikTok. TikTok or Lemonade. Okay, biggest red flag. Um, I think seeing <laughs> seeing how they treat other people that's not you, like their friends or their siblings or like their parents and like that I feel like that could give you like an indication of if that's a red flag or a green flag so red flag I think it's like some of the jokes that people can say because like they can be just kidding but like you know like they're not like, kidding yeah I think a red flag is if they think that they're better than other people like secretive like you ask them a question they get really protective and someone has a dirty room let's check your room right now Actual <laughs> <laughs> music artist i think the weekend because didn't he like come up with like he like had like i heard like he had like a movie that was like offensive and then also like he like he had like domestic violence like like assumptions about him oh, yeah. i didn't know that either i didn't know that either um i think Kanye West because I think he's a little Delulu. Mr. Cat and Kanye. Well, I would say um, Chris Brown because of what happened with Brianna. <gasps> Let's not say. Let's not say. The most overrated food place. Not Wingstop. Um, I think Five Guys because it's expensive and it's hamburgers and maybe just because I don't. Because <laughs> their chicken tenders aren't even that good. They're low key dry. I mean, food, it could count as drinks, right? Just yeah. Starbucks, because it's overpriced. I thought you would really like Starbucks. No. Um, I would say Chipotle, but I think just because I don't like the stuff that they sell at Chipotle, but everyone's like, oh my god, Chipotle this, Chipotle that. It's okay, I've tasted it before, it's okay, but it's not like up to the hype. Um, there's a lot, but I, I think um, BJ's is overrated. I think Olive Garden's overrated, and I think that Cane's is overrated. We'll keep that in mind, girl. Next time we go. That was the end of the video. Does anybody have anything else to say before we end? Bye. That video was so long.